Hello everybody. I'm going to do a few videos on the high-powered PEMF with the intent of explaining uh, the kit and what the kit's all about and why I'm not building the uh, unit as an assembled unit anymore. So I have an assembled unit right here and I'm going to just go over some very quick basics on this unit and um, then we'll move into the pieces of the kit and we'll actually demonstrate the kit. Um, outside a case and uh, the scope will be for when I actually do um, some more video on the uh, kit you'll get to see it uh, in either video two or three whatever how many videos it takes to do this whole thing so let's let's cover the unit first okay so the unit is a high-powered PEMF and it's got some very basic controls and I'm bringing uh, close to the camera so we can go over them real quickly um, I've done other videos on this so this could be a repeat for uh, some of you uh, there's a speed control that I'm pointing to right here and over here further there is a time control and they're pretty self-explanatory uh, with the exception of possibly um, what does random Hertz means random Hertz means under speed you can see the the little uh, uh, taped on label chart will generate randomly one Hertz five Hertz three Hertz four Hertz one Hertz just randomly picks one and I'll demonstrate that uh, in a few seconds. And the reason for that random function is to try to eliminate uh, habituation. And uh, so the body doesn't get used to just seeing the same uh, uh, pulse over and over and over again. It's a randomized uh, um, pulse. And I'll show it to you. You'll be able to see it visually when you watch the LED flash. And speaking about the LED, the LED has three purposes. One, it does a registration uh, blink when it first turns on. Two, it uh, shows the speed that the uh, PEMF is running at. And three, if the speed, if the PEMF overheats, it turns solid and stops the pulsing action. But it stays lit solid. And that immediately indicates that the PEMF overheated. And that condition can happen if you run it uh, consecutively for half hour sections or times. Um, the unit was designed to run for a half hour max and then take a little breather. But there's nothing stopping you from restarting it and running for another half hour. And if uh, the SCR gets too hot, there's the mister in there that will shut it down and the light will come on solid. No damage or anything. It just stops everything. And you know it stopped it when you see that light that was on solid. Okay. Um, Light it on off switch, eight and a half uh, amp slow blow fuse holder with a fuse inside, of course. Um, this is the computer interface uh, that connects to the Arduino inside, and uh, you just use a USB uh, cord with a miniature plug on one side and a normal USB for your PC on the other side. Of course, you have to have the software on the computer, and you have to have the um, uh, the what do you call it? The compiler already loaded and so forth. Um, it's for really geeky geeks and there are things you can do once you understand how this whole unit works. Um, I look forward to somebody making some really nifty mods. Um, okay, uh, the reason why I don't build this unit anymore is because it's just too much work. It's way too much work. Building this case takes way too long for me. Uh, drilling all the holes and so forth. We're talking a half a day invested in the case alone and mounting the parts in it. And possibly longer. It could turn into longer if I run into a snafu or something. I just don't have that kind of time. And then I only sell the unit for pennies on the dollar. Um, no. So if you want to have a high-powered PEMF, I'm uh, going to have to be able to either have a friend that knows a little bit of electronics. Um, basically, though, it's mechanical skills because so much of the electronics is already assembled. The other side, of course, is the output. And that wire right there runs to my coil. If I get out of the way and turn the camera a little bit, and you see the coil over there sitting on a table a little ways from the uh, unit and a little ways from the uh, uh, computer. And it's aiming up and down so it's not aimed at any of my electronics on the table. Um, so I don't think I'm more than three feet away from that PC. But again, it's aimed up and uh, down and I'm not moving it so I, don't, I won't, will not do any damage to my computer. And I've had, uh, I've had a unit blown because the coil was placed too close to the Arduino inside here. 
you know, and um, it popped it. It screwed it up. The Arduino has memory. It's a computer. It's an MPU, a microprocessor unit with memory. It's got uh, um, non-volatile and volatile memory both. The program in there is in a form of non-volatile memory. And what happened was is that uh, coil got too close, screwed up the program, and uh, the unit failed. So uh, that's another reason for the kit. Kit builders are probably going to know what they're doing and probably be a little bit more cautious. Um, Joe Average User um, just wants to run a box and really doesn't want to know anything about how it works. And as a consequence, not understanding what's going on here, these high-powered pulses, they can destroy your computer. They can destroy this box itself. They can destroy your TV, your microwave, anything electronic. You aim that coil and get it too close to that unit, you could screw up the electronics in it very nicely, or not so nicely. I guess that's the wrong verbiage to use. Um, it's um, a very powerful uh, research and development tool, the coil and the box com uh, in combination. So, okay, so I've explained a little bit why I can't build the uh, completed unit anymore. It's just too much work. I want people who um, have a little bit of savvy um, not to be denied access to this unit. It's just too wonderful of a unit. It does just too much. And I won't say any more about that. Okay, I'm going to just demonstrate it real quickly, and then we'll move on to the next video, which is basically bringing the kit, and I'll show I'll talk more about the kit when it's right there. It's right there, by the way. I'm pointing to it. It's, it's hard to see it. I'll pull it, pull it in the camera field of view shortly and so forth. Okay, so um, I think I've told you about turning it on. And when I do, you'll get a registration pulse there. And watch when I hit the switch. Oh, before I do that, I'll make sure all the power's on. Yes, it is. It's all connected up. Okay, I'll hit the switch. And you saw the registration blip. You can see the power lights on, and you can hear the fan. Underneath there's a fan. So you know the unit's absolutely on. It's not doing anything, but it's on. It's just sitting there waiting to be activated. You make your selection on speed, make your selection on time, and I'm going to set it so we can really, well, I'll set it first to just one pulse a second. Um, that's position two on the dial. Turn counterclockwise, that's uh, standard convention, all the way off, or position one, whatever you want to call it and right now it's set for random speed and time one minute. I turn the speed to position number two, it's set for one hertz uh, per second. Okay, I had to stop the unit for a second. Um, I was demonstrating one cycle per second. Press it, and there it is flashing at one cycle per second. All right, so I can dial these in while it's running and nothing will happen, it won't change anything. Um, these dials are only looked at when it, it, it is beginning or ready to start after you press this button here. Okay, so I'm going to stop it. So it's an on and off. I'm just, I've said that already, I believe. And I'm going to dial in five as fast as it can go. And I'm just leaving the uh, time for one minute. It can be set for one minute, 30 minutes, but we're not making a 30 minute video. So here we go. And now it's flashing at five times a second and uh, delivering some really nice pulses uh, out to that uh, coil and that coil is delivering a really powerful um, magnetic uh, PEMF uh, wave. All right. Stop it. Um, and that's pretty much the basics. Uh, let me see if I forgot to say anything. Uh, you can also see the power supply light through the, uh, the vent holes. So you got a lot of indication that the unit's running. All right, so I'm going to stop this uh, video and start up, and I'm going to pull in the kit and put that in front here and get this out of the way. And we'll pick up where he left off.